hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all the values of t that satisfy this equation. This is 2 to the power of root t, and this equals 8 to the power of t. Now, we are going to start by replacing this 8 here with 2 to the power of 3. We have 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. That means 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So that means we are simply going to have 2 to the power of root t equals 8. This is 2 to the power of 3. And this is to the power of t. Now consider this identity. If you have a power n raised to the power of m, this equals a power n times m. We apply this identity here. That means we are simply going to have 2 to the power of root t equals 2 to the power of 3 times t, that is 3t. Now, the next step will be for us to consider this identity again. If you have a power b, and this equals a power c, considering the fact that the bases are the same, we compare the exponent. We have b equals c. So, we are going to compare this exponent. That means we are going to have root t equals 3t. Now there is square root here. So we can decide to eliminate this by taking the squares of the part of this equation. Now consider the fact that if you have square root of a and you raise it to the power of 2, this is just like writing a power 1 over 2, which is the square root here, raised to the power of 2. So if you multiply this exponent out, you simply have a power 2 over 2, which equals a. So applying that here, that means this cancel this. So we are simply going to have t equals 3 times t raised to the power of 2. Now, considering this, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So we apply that here. That means we are still going to have t equals 3 power 2 times t power 2. Now, right now, we are simply going to have t equals 3 power 2, that's 9 times t power 2. So from here, we are going to have t equals 9 times t power 2, that is 9 t power 2. Now, at this particular point, we are going to solve this using two different methods. The first method will be, let's copy it out, we have t equals 9 t squared. I can decide to divide this by t and divide this by t. t eliminates t. So what I have here is just 1 equals 9 t power 2 divided by t. Now, if you have a power n divided by a power n, this equals a power n minus m. Now, what you should know that this t is raised to the power of 1. So this is just like writing 1 equals 9 times t power 2 minus 1. And this is just like writing 1 equals 9t because 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 9 times t power 1, which is the same thing as 9 times t. So we solve for t. We divide this by 9. We divide this by 9. 9 cancel 9. So we have 1 over 9 equals t. That means t equals 1 over 9. That is one method of solving it. 
Now, I can also decide to solve this using another different method. I have my t equals 90 squared. I can move this t over here, it becomes negative t. I have 90 squared minus t equals 0. I can factor out t. I have t times this divided by t. That is 90 minus this divided by t. This is 1, and this equals 0. At this particular point, I can have t equals 0, or 90 minus 1 equals 0. So this is solved already. I need to also solve this one. So I can decide to move this over here. It becomes 90 equals 1. And I divide this by 9. I divide this by 9. 9 cancels 9. I therefore have t equals 1 over 9. Now look at it here. In this second method, we have 0 and 1 over 9. While in the first method, we had only 1 over 9. So what we are going to do next will be to check for each of these solutions. Right now, we have two different solutions using two different methods. t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 9. Let's start with t equals 0. I have check. This is 2 to the power of root t equals 8 power t. I start with 0. I have 2 power square root of 0 equals 8 power 0. So from here, I'm going to have 2 power square root of 0 is 0 equals 8 power 0. And any number raised to the power of 0, exception of 0 itself is 1. This is 1. And this is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. So that means. 0 is also a valid solution. Let's consider when t equals 1 over 9. I have 2 power square root of t equals 8 power t. I consider 1 over 9. I have 2 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 8 power 1 over 9. Now, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. I apply this right here. So I'm simply going to have 2 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 8 power 1 over 9. So right now, I have 2 power square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3. And this equals a power 1 over 9. And don't forget that 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. That means 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. I have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 8 that is 2 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So from here, I have 2 power 1 over 3 equals this. I need to multiply this out. Remember, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I have 2 to the power of 3 times 1, which is 3 over 9. So from here, I have 2 power. 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 cancel itself. 1 cancel 9, 3. Have 1 over 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. And this will give you the n root of a because a power 1 is a. So right now, applying that here, we have the cube root of 2 power 1. And this equals the cube root of 2 power 1. 
So from here on, 2 power 1 is 2, so I have cube root of 2, and this equals the cube root of 2. Left hand side equals right hand side. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it, and don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.